Because yeah. my principle is, if you read it, right, you're supposed to give seven days' notice, and they're not abiding by what the court said. So, because he's so rude, he's an old gentleman, he knows what the John. rules are. John. Right? He knows that he's supposed to give me notice. No, so, sorry, play, 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 stay neutral. Stay neutral. Yeah. Well, the facts is there on the, on the wall here that it says, on the 17th of July, I was advised, and it's paragraph four, before you get to anything else, that they're supposed to give me notice. But you were at the court when that was issued. That they, was no, seven days, they need to make an appointment. They no, can't, they, 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 they can't appointment. just, turn, they just can't, it they can't, because they have to give me the option of letting them in. They don't have the option of just coming and knocking down my door. Okay. My friend was at the court. My friend was at the court, so she knows. And that is not seven days. It's not seven days from. It's, it's not seven days from the day of the call. What they needed to do was. They told me. They told me. That's what what the JP. JP told me. The, t the JP told me, the, the JP told me in the court that this is what is supposed to happen next. Here's the information sheet for you. Yes. And he said that EDF will have to give me seven days notice of their attendance intention to attend my property. And they haven't done that. Yes. Yes. To install a prepaid meter in place of existing meter cut off the gas supply to the premises. Yes. Yes. That, that, that you were told they were going to install one. They were There's going to install one. After, after the seventeenth, nothing before the seventeenth. After the seventeenth, this applies to after the seventeenth of July. Yes, they have not given me notice. No, it's not. That is notice to say information for warrant. They state that now that the warrant has been granted, this is what should happen after the 17th of July. And after the 17th of July, they have 28 days to enforce that warrant. However, before they enforce the warrant, they're supposed to give me seven days' notice. They're supposed to give me two days' notice if they're going to disconnect the supply so that I know or I can make other arrangements to have a gas supply. They need to give me notice. It says it here in black and white. Were you at the court? And even if they said, oh, I've, sorry, already, I've, already, I've already acknowledged that. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, nothing. right, were this... Were you at court when the warrant was issued, Yes, I was at court. Did you, did you watch the whole proceedings? I watched the whole proceedings from beginning, to end. From beginning yes. and to end, and I let you know what the Justice of the Peace said to me. The Justice of the Peace said to me that he's granting the warrant. Mm -hmm. He then, also, then passed this piece of paper to the clerk. Mm -hmm. The clerk handed it to me. The Justice of the Peace then said that this is the information for you as to what's going to take place next. He also confirmed that they are supposed to give me seven days' notice before they're going to attend my property. That's on the... No, the Justice of the Peace said that. Just was it kind of just verbal? It's verbal. I've tried to get the case notes, yeah. but I can't, so that I could have it here today to prove to you. The one is this, and the one yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah, and 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 seven. it actually states on here seven days notice to exchange. They use the words exchange but there is a meter. Without any set appointment, it doesn't require that. Doesn't require that requires me seven, seven days, days notice. You've got to inform the person I'm giving you seven days notice as of today and it's seven days from now. When they came, when they came on was, Tuesday, they just turned said, up. They just turned up. They could have said on Tuesday, all right, as of from today, it's seven days notice. They, they left and they rescheduled to come at a time. Because, because, because I've, now, I, I, I couldn't find this on Tuesday. 
and I was remembering the two days. Yeah, so that's what I was quoting. Right? So now that they've hang on, yes, yeah, so now that they've come, this gentleman over here, I will stop this and play the video recording. I was very amicable with him. I said, before we go any further, I'd like to draw your attention to this. I said to him, you're a very mature gentleman. You've been in the job for many years. You know you're supposed to give me notice. He turned around, I'm not discussing this. The warrant here. I said, you're not taking no notice of this piece of paper. I said, it's the same as what you've got from the court. In, in actual fact, it's the same signature. So you can compare with the signature they've got on here that this has been issued by the same person. So you wanted someone explicitly to tell you this is your seven days notice, we will be coming That's what day. seven days notice means. Right. Putting someone on notice mm -hmm. means you give them notice. I haven't been given notice yeah. since the 17th of July. If you, if you just read here, yeah. by giving no less than seven working days, so yeah. that implies seven plus working days. So giving no fact. less. They have yeah. not given me any notice whatsoever. Giving no less yeah. than seven days notice. They have not given me any notice whatsoever that they plan on attending my property. They did have that letter in May. You've got the letter. I haven't. No, no, no. They, they need. Have no, to do May. This is stuff. after July. It's no, no. The it. justice of no. peace has told me exactly. and given me this. That if the seven day days day. notice has already been given, then they have no need to give me this because they have the right just to turn up. They have given me this to let me know what my rights are, my civil rights are. And as you just read it, it says no less than seven days notice, which means they have to give me notice of their attendance. They have not if given me that thing. being ignorant when they came Tuesday, they could have said to her Tuesday, we're giving you seven days notice from today. She didn't need to say anything to them because they need to know their... They need to know their, their job. You so I'm standing like here that. on principle. I had made up my mind already from last night when I find this. I'm going to speak to the gentleman. And if the gentleman is amicable with me, they would have come in already and they would have left. He think he can bully me. He's not bullying me. So here we are now and I'm standing on the principle of what I've been given by the JP. So you're saying that if the gentleman had been... If he had been amicable, I would have been happy to let him in. No, brethren, 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 do not apologize. No, no, brethren, no, brethren, no, brethren, no, brethren, no, brethren, brethren, no, no, brethren, no, you, you, you was here the last time, innit? Yeah, and you was, you kept, brethren, brethren, brethren. Please, 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 please. It wasn't you. Don't get involved. I have no issue with you. Right? It's principle of the matter, right? It's principle of the matter. The man's rude, right? He's old school. He's supposed to know how to deal with me. I'm 47 years of age. You don't come and bully me up. I'm not no young female. I'm born in this country. No. Tell him to come and apologise to me. I know. Tell him to come and apologise sincerely. Don't get, don't contract with no one. Don't contract with no one. Don't contract with anyone, Susan. You contract with them. You're giving permission for them to act. Tell him to come and apologise. That's all he has. Tell him to come and apologise for not doing his duties properly, and he can come in. And that's so simple. There we go. Solution. Come and apologise sincerely, properly, for you not abiding by what the court said, by you not following your job details and committing gross misconduct. You come and apologise, John. And you can come in.
Call Lisa. What was her name? The police officer from the last time. Lisa something. She was the one who came. She was in play. Lisa, someone who attended. If you call the police, I don't know if there's even a log number for you coming out for this today. Because she was very, she was very good. We had a very good conversation, me and Lisa. She was, yeah, I know. But she, we had a very good conversation. She was a very good police officer. She's old school. She pulled me away from the young ones who wanted to escalate something. And we had a very decent conversation. Bring back someone who's who's old school, a police officer. Because the old school police officers, I'm old school, I'm 47 years of age. They know how to deal and deal with the, our older generation. Because I'm born in this country mm. and I know how to conduct myself. Absolutely. And I know that no one can come and bully me. Absolutely. No one has authority over this human being. Absolutely. Officer, you've seen me in action before, okay? I sued that bailiff. I gave him hassle. Didn't get no money, but I gave that bailiff hassle because he was out of order and he wasn't doing his job efficiently. He had no right to clamp my car. What happened after that? What happened after that? He come back and took off the clamp. Mm. <laughs> I went downstairs. I mean, the clamp gone. All he has to do is come and apologise. He ain't done his job properly. He apologised sincerely. Why would it be that he have off the other clamp? The, the black man that's there, because I'm going to say he's the only one there. Why would he want to apologise? He's done nothing. And he's, he's kept his mouth from. Well, yes, then so why don't the official person come and apologise? Yes, so why don't he come and apologise? I want him to apologise for not exercising duties properly for trying to, to bully me. He's turned up at my address. No, sorry. He's turned up at my address. He's turned up at my He's turned up at my address and he's supposed to give me notice, officer. No less than seven days from the 17th of July. That's your perspective? Yeah. Because it's his perspective, doesn't override, doesn't, doesn't override my perspective. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't override my perspective. He wouldn't want to apologise and just come in. I want to apologise. I want him to apologise. I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to ask him to say that it's an illegal thing. I can't believe that he's going to walk away. Oh, they're going? Yeah. All you had to do was apologise, mate. You know, apologise for not exercising your duties properly. For not exercising your duties properly. Goodbye. I don't believe that. That is really 